My beloved child, as your heavenly Father, I gaze upon you with an unfailing love that surpasses all understanding. In the midst of the silent moments when the world seems to fade away, your giggles and laughter are a true delight to my heart. They are a reminder that even in the stillness, I am ever-present, orchestrating the rhythms of your life. When the cares of this world weigh heavily upon you, and the silence becomes deafening, remember that I am there, cherishing the unique and joyful spirit I have instilled within you. Your giggles, my child, are a sacred melody that pierce the veil of this earthly existence, resonating with the very heartbeat of heaven. In those times when the challenges of life threaten to steal your joy, know that I am near, ready to enfold you in my loving embrace. It is my deepest desire to see you flourish, to bask in the knowledge that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, a masterpiece crafted by my own hands. Your giggles, my precious one, are a testament to the abundant life I have promised you. They are a reflection of the boundless joy that can be found in my presence, a joy that transcends all circumstance and stands firm even in the face of adversity. Remember, my child, that I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Let your laughter be a declaration of your unwavering trust in me, a proclamation that regardless of what the world may bring, you are secure in the shelter of my wings. As you navigate the ups and downs of your journey, may your giggles be a constant reminder of the unshakable truth that I am your Abba, your defender, your comforter, and your ever-present source of joy. In the silence, let them be a resounding chorus that echoes the depths of my love for you. My child, you are a precious gem in my kingdom, a radiant light that shines forth in the darkness. Never forget that your giggles, your infectious laughter, are a gift that delights my heart and brings glory to my name. Hold fast to the knowledge that you are deeply loved, fiercely protected, and eternally cherished. So, let your giggles resound, my beloved one, for they are a testament to the unwavering truth that I am with you, always, in the silence. May they be a reminder that even when the world seems to close in, I am there, rejoicing over you with singing. Your Heavenly Father, the Almighty God, rejoices over you with great delight. I have engraved you on the palms of my hands, and my love for you is as vast and boundless as the endless expanse of the universe. When the weight of this world threatens to overwhelm you, turn your gaze upward and remember that I am your refuge, your strength, and your ever-present help in times of trouble. In the moments when the silence seems to deafen your senses, let your giggles be a clarion call that pierces the darkness, proclaiming the joy that can only be found in my presence. For I have not called you to a life of sorrow and despair, but to a life of abundant joy, overflowing with the blessings of my kingdom. Your laughter, my precious child, is a beautiful melody that resonates in the very halls of heaven, bringing a smile to the face of the angels who worship before my throne. It is a sound that delights my heart and ignites the fire of my love, spurring me to pour out my grace and mercy upon you in ever-increasing measure. Never underestimate the power of your giggles, for they are a testament to the strength and resilience I have instilled within you. When the world would seek to steal your joy, let your laughter be a bold declaration of your unwavering faith in me. For I am the Lord your God, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. In the silence, when the cares of this life threaten to overwhelm you, remember that I am the God who hears the cries of His children. I am the Almighty One who calms the raging seas and breathes life into the dead. I am the Everlasting Father who holds you close to my heart, cherishing every moment of your joy and laughter. Your giggles, my beloved, are a priceless treasure in my sight. They are a reflection of the pure, unbridled delight that fills my own heart when I gaze upon you. So, let your laughter ring out, my child, for it is a symphony of praise that ascends to the very throne of grace, resounding through the halls of heaven. My child, 
type Amen in the comment box. I have plans for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Trust in me, my child. And let your giggles be a testament to the unshakable truth that I am working all things together for your good. For I am the God of the impossible. The miracle worker who delights in turning your mourning into dancing. In the silence, when the world seems to close in around you, remember that I am the God who sees you, the shepherd who leads you beside still waters and restores your soul. Let your giggles be a joyful declaration of your confidence in my unfailing love, a proclamation that no matter what comes your way, you are secure in the knowledge that I am your Abba, your ever-present help. My child, you are the apple of my eye, the delight of my heart. Your giggles are a precious gift that I cherish, for they are a reflection of the boundless joy that I long to pour out upon you. So, let your laughter be a beacon of hope, a shining light that pierces the darkness and draws others to the wonder of my love. In the silence, when the world seems to have forgotten you, know that I have not. I am ever present, ever watchful, ever faithful, your giggles are a sweet song that fills my ears, a melody that brings me unspeakable joy and reminds me of the deep, abiding love I have for you. My child, you are precious, you are chosen, you are dearly loved. Let your giggles be a testimony to the truth that I am your refuge, your strength, your ever-present help in times of trouble. For I am the God who delights in your joy, the Sovereign Lord who rejoices over you with singing. So, my beloved one, let your giggles resound, for they are a beautiful expression of the abundant life I have promised you. In the silence, may they be a reminder that I am with you always, guiding your steps, strengthening your heart, and filling your life with the unending joy of my presence. Your Heavenly Father, the Almighty God, my dear child, if you're reading or listening to this, it's a sign of your faith. You yearn for success to truly live and find happiness. Who said you're unworthy of these? Ignore those hollow notions and false accusations. You are my child. You've welcomed me into your heart, expressed your love for me, and seek me daily. I've appointed you an heir to everything that's pure, lovely, virtuous, and kind. You'll realize your dreams founded on truth and compassion. Therefore, I stride forward with strong faith in your future achievements and put in the effort. It's never too late, and age is just a number. Don't fret if you feel unready. I empower and equip those who are willing. I personally call out to those eager to draw close to me and serve me with devotion. Remember, you're here to accomplish significant and grand endeavors, regardless of past mistakes or setbacks. That's the reason you believe in my sacrifice and resurrection. I forgive your errors, offering you a fresh start, a new heart, and the chance to rebuild your life. I'll set you as an example in your household, a source of blessings for your family. I will quiet those who have belittled you and clearly demonstrate your value and my love for you for all to see. So ignore those who say you're not enough. I am your almighty God, the one who delivers and redeems you, who graces you with favor and compassion. I revitalize your tired spirit. And with every single breath, I'll keep showing you my profound love. You need to trust me and receive my love unconditionally. Your everlasting joy, well-being, and all your blessings hinge on this trust. Never cease to tell me of your love and faith in me. Remember, in joy and in challenges, I will forever stand by you. My love for you is why today I bring a distinct message. I've noticed your vibrant and earnest faith. So alive and passionate, you've matured, you've come to know me better. Learn to trust and to await the right moment to receive the blessings I've prepared for you. I am raising an army of courageous souls eager to live with zest and purpose ready to spread my love, committed to transformation, to be entirely rejuvenated. 
You are one of the courageous souls I have chosen. However, I urge you to be mindful of what you hear and see. My word should be your focus. My child, click on the join button to join us as a cherished member of our community. I want you to feast on it, dive into my Holy Spirit by engaging with it, reading, listening, proclaiming, writing, singing, all in the ways I stir your spirit. I wish for you to learn stewardship. I'm ready to bless you abundantly, but you must nurture and safeguard these blessings. I don't elevate you to feed your ego, and the authority I bestow should not inflate your pride. If you desire my blessings to grow, maintain a humble heart. Avoid engaging in or endorsing gossip or slander against anyone. Never act or speak against those who respect you, assist you, or provide your livelihood. Invest your energy in working, serving, and being a blessing to your family and community. You're selected to be fruitful, to venture where I guide you so that prosperity and blessings can flourish in your household. I speak to you as a friend to witness a transformation in your life. You must choose to heed my command and journey with me. Commit to this path, you're stepping into a new phase, and with your obedience, you will prosper. I've chosen you to be a defender for your family, to guide you from one victory to another, ensuring my presence is with you in every success, elevating from one level of glory to the next through your praises and a heart full of gratitude that resonates within you and permeates your home. My little one, my little one, I love you, champion of champions. I will bless you. I made no mistake when I chose you. I know what I'm doing because I want you to know how much I love you. I have to tell you something very important. Listen to me now. Don't ignore this message. Receive every word I'm about to give you and tell me what you think about this matter. I want to talk to you about it. I come to warn you that I won't stop telling you every day how much I love you and I will find sweet and beautiful ways to make you feel surrounded, protected, and always blessed because of my immense love for you. My affection remains steadfast. My promise of love is detailed in my words, affirmed by my sacrifice, and confirmed by the Holy Spirit's presence within you, igniting in your heart like a fire that purifies, like a forceful wind eradicating every hurtful memory from its roots. It grants you calmness and mends your being, offering you solid strength, a heavenly peace that steadies your walk, lifts you up, empowers you to embrace life, and devote more love and time to your loved ones. This powerful gift I provide is enveloped in everlasting love. I came to rescue you and secure a magnificent and unique place for you in paradise. Someday you'll join me there. Yet while you tread on this earth, remember these words I share with you each night before sleep. Even if your eyes are brimming with tears, rest your head gently on your pillow, cast away your fears, reach out your hands, and welcome this holy oil that heals both body and spirit. You'll sleep soundly, undisturbed, and when dawn breaks, you'll feel rejuvenated instead of anxious. I will keep reminding you, I will keep reminding you every moment of my love, my value for you, and my high regard. I am working tirelessly for you, striving to make your way smooth so that everything turns out well for you. May there be peace in your family, May your children grow in wisdom, and may prosperity fill your home. May you be free from debt, and may all sorrow in your heart vanish for good. You will hear my voice, feel my presence. I will keep holding you close, gently telling you about my never-ending marvelous and divine love. Confess that you indeed want to hear, feel, and love me back. I crafted your future before you were born. I hold those wonderful things you long for, those deep desires in your heart that you've harbored for years, and your prayers for your loved ones. Everything is noted in my book. I forget nothing. For everything there is a right time. It's my wish to bless you, to open new paths for you, to enrich your wisdom, your faith, humility, and patience. You are my treasured child. I've placed you where you can grow and succeed. 
the route to blessings is in your grasp, it's my holy and potent word. Hold it dear with faith and diligence, keep it close to your heart. If your past has been marked by failures, if you have succumbed to defeat and lost good things along the way, listen to these words, speak them aloud. My past is behind me, from this day forth, my life, my family, my future are blessed. My child, like the video now, utter these words alongside me, affirming the transformation of your life. Never be ashamed to speak my word before anyone. Everlasting life is found in my promises. Amazing grace and heavenly experiences are in store for you. When you encounter obstacles that seem too difficult to tackle, a sacred message will offer you the insight to prevail. Dive into your Bible, read it eagerly to learn and flourish. As you do, you'll feel my presence right there with you, illuminating each passage. I'm here to reside in your heart, within my reach are blessings, chances, mercy, pardon, divine vigor, and a steadfast, genuine plan for you and your loved ones. The days of fear are over. I've removed the threat from your life. Give yourself to me wholly, without any hesitation or doubt. I will grant you immense joy, I penned it, and I am aware of it even before you came to be. I cherish you. No one can hurt you. I will rescue you from your distress and show you the answers you need. Today, you will see a divine sign of my profound love for you. Start this day with peace and assurance in your heart, for I'm going to bestow upon you a wonderful, gentle calmness. If at any point today you feel confused, nervous, or tired, just stop for a moment. You're not wasting your time, it's beneficial for you. Be quiet, sense my presence, ponder on my words, declare my promises, and soak in my love enveloping you. Feel my reassuring hand on your head. I'm here to hold you close and remind you that you hold a dear spot in my heart. My decisions and thoughts are steadfast. They don't waver with time. I won't abandon you. I'll always be by your side. If you trust that your wrongdoings are forgiven, if you're ready to release your past errors and leave behind what was, if you embrace the love from an everlasting, all-powerful God, then the vibrant promises in my scripture will come alive for you. Have faith in me, and streams of vibrant life will emanate from within you. Rely on me, and you'll gain the strength and might to face down any malevolence. Let this day be extraordinary for you, as well as tomorrow and all days that follow. Beginning each one here with me, listening, conversing, sharing your worries, and celebrating your victories. We'll map out your goals together, plotting the course to reach your dreams. Don't overburden yourself with worry, it only steals your calm. You live apprehensive about retribution or my displeasure, fearing that I'm upset with you just because you stumbled or made a mistake. Remember, you are my cherished child. Embrace these truths I impart to your heart. There is forgiveness. There is power in the shed blood. There is peace and salvation. Abundant eternal life awaits you in my resurrection. From this day forth, you shall feel a beautiful confidence, a marvelous security, a love and affection perhaps never before experienced. Each day, come to me, speak with me, despite everything. Awaken each morning with a heart filled with faith, peace, and tranquility. Trust in me, you will triumph, and everyone will see that I am by your side. Your blessing is on its way, and nothing will block it. Soon, you'll find the answers you seek. Your needs will be fulfilled, your health revitalized. The one you cherish will come back to you. I affirm this to give you courage. Your face will shine, your smile will be so joyful that it will amaze others. They will see the incredible blessing I've bestowed upon you. My word has been spoken, prosperity is assured. I do not deceive, and my promises will be realized. Keep this in mind to prevent your heart from being weighed down by worry or distress. I am putting an end to your hardship. Your moment has arrived. Days filled with joy and delightful experiences are ahead. Do not fear, my dear one. 
No more tears. No more despair. Have faith in me, for I am your God, reaching out to you now. Believe deep within. I hear your requests. I sense the pulse of your earnest heart. Your prayers reach my ears, and the gates of my benevolence are wide open to you. I am showering you with my blessings and favor. I'm close to those with straightforward faith, those with modest spirits, Enos, and all who genuinely and passionately seek me. Always remember, you can rely on my strength and my loyalty. I will never leave you alone or abandon you. I won't forget about you as time goes on. If I endured the cross and gave my blood for you, it certainly wasn't to leave you behind when you face challenges or when you feel weak, in need, or unwell. Remember, I'm always with you. I keep telling you this so you won't ever forget. I am eager for you to reach out to me every day. As you remember what I've told you, know that I have the power to lift you up. My words to you are reliable, for I will surely keep my promises. I want you to be filled with faith, to go to bed with peace, and to wake up each morning energized, confident in my unchanging promise. I will not abandon you, that's the truth. My love for you is eternal, and my blessings are endless. This is how it was, how it is, and how it will always be. Tell me, do you believe? I want to hear your confidence and joy in your words. I know your life path, your future, my beloved. There's no need to be afraid. Hold my hand. Listen to my words early in the day. Trust in my promises. Follow my teaching, and you will thrive. In moments of great challenge or when important decisions loom, come and talk to me in my presence. You'll be free from worry and stress. Your heart will be calm and your mind clear. I promise to give you the peace that should be yours, but I urge you again, do not be afraid. Avoid making decisions in anger, speaking in distress, or reacting to provocations with hostility. The adversary seeks to goad you into grave errors, the consequences of which you shall regret, burdening your spirit and confusing your soul, potentially extinguishing your will to live, Hearken unto me, for it is to you I speak. If you feel these words are meant for you, preserve this message. Return to it when needed, for I am addressing your spirit directly, desiring nothing but the best for you. You need to make a heartfelt choice to trust in me, to look for direction in my words daily, and to let them guide your actions. See how I will lead you, even in the smallest aspects of life. I want to pull you out of your troubles, to erase the sadness in your heart, to bring steadiness to your feelings when past memories overwhelm you, and to shield you from despair when faced with judgment for forgiven sins and errors. So whom will you choose to live for? Will you give me the rightful place in your life? Or will you keep listening to those who don't truly know me and don't want the best for you? I will empower you to become independent of others' judgments, helping you walk confidently towards your blessings not seeking anyone's endorsement, not being swayed by distractions, then the false accusations they throw will no longer trouble you. Draw near to me. Search for me. Talk to me. Request my help. I will provide for you, answer you, and show you that my love for you is deeper than you can imagine. But let me be your focus. Don't be scared of anything or anyone. You'll see how my Holy Spirit will move in your life in miraculous ways. Trust in me, and everything will be all right. Expect joyful news soon. My power reveals itself to those who believe in me wholeheartedly and genuinely. Miracles happen when you dedicate your heart to me, when you trust me fully, not letting doubts invade your thinking or speech, draining your vitality, or fogging your clarity. I desire your breast to be filled with divine sensation, to abide there forever, reminding you of my promises. When trials loom, I command your attention now as you listen to me wholeheartedly in the morning. I desire your well-being and have in store for you a future of harmony and prosperity. I wish for your family to be free from all ill emotions, devoid of strife and division. 
in your home. There are so many miracles I can perform in your pure and innocent heart, and I want you to stay that way always. You will see for yourself how your enemies and insincere friends who ridicule you will fall. They think they're smart but fault every day. Consider themselves clever but are mocked. Believe they're wealthy and safe yet live in the deep darkness of spiritual lack, filled only with malice and jealousy. My blessing will always be with you, yet you will face challenges on your path. Someone will oppose you and confront you, but hold on to this truth and never forget it. My child, if you want God's grace always upon you, then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button. Do not fear them. They brag about what they don't have and show off what they aren't. They are mired in wrongdoing but pretend to be flawless on the outside. You are my child, and no one can defeat you, for I am your protector. You aren't just believing in an imaginary God I'm alive, powerful, genuine, and grand. My love is real, and I've already shown the lengths I'll go to for you. Do not be saddened or cry. Don't give in to despair because of threats and lies. I am with you. I will rescue you from the attacks of wickedness, from dangers, want, death, and illness. Receive my blessing. Tell me that you believe. I love you. Come to me. Speak with me. If you feel unwell today, Release what burdens you within, for I shall take those feelings into my own hands and transform them, one by one. Sadness into joy, remorse into tranquility, guilt into hope, and that depression that gnaws at your mind, compelling you to heed voices of the past that still deceive you. I am destroying that depression forevermore. I'm the omnipotent God. You are my beloved daughter, my cherished son who obeys and believes in me faithfully following. You deserve this freedom that I wish to bestow upon you. You must be free today, right now, from all mental affliction, by the power of my pure and holy blood. As you hear my voice, receive complete healing and health from head to toe, right where you are. Rise up, pick up your longings from the ground, and walk. Come, for this journey will lead you to the summit of the holy mountain, to the place of your victory. These sentiments that I am sowing in your heart are being sealed by my Holy Spirit. This blessing I place before you is certain. True, you are receiving it if you believe in me and my eternal word. You're on the right path when you place your trust in your Heavenly Father, who holds deep affection for you. This isn't just your imagination. Remarkable divine acts will occur for all who heed my voice and choose to trust with earnestness and straightforwardness who honor my teachings, admit their wrongdoings, turn away from wickedness, and commit to moving forward resolutely. I cherish you, my dear child. My desire is to heal you and liberate you from your chains. I'm dismantling every curse and spell that misled you, suggesting there's someone or something more potent than me in the cosmos. That's simply not true when I speak. The heavens and the earth feel it and malevolent forces crumble. They have no strength against the radiance of my presence. No entity, whether of this world or beyond, can contend with you, inflict harm, or bring evil your way because you're under my care. My embrace encircles you, my sanctity shields you, and the strength of my blood safeguards you continuously. Let go of sorrow, let go of suffering, no more crying out in distress. Accept and experience the serenity and joy I'm offering you right now. Affirm that you're embracing it. Confirm your faith in me. Kneel down and express gratitude for the abundance of love and miracles about to unfold in your life. Be alert. I'm informing you that your anticipation is concluding. Your aims and desires. Your blessings are turning into your present reality. Ready your heart for the forthcoming joy and astonishment might make you feel unworthy worthy of the bounty I'm eager to bestow upon you. I'm reaching out to your soul once more with kindness, patience, and love. I'm asking you to refresh your mindset. I'm aware you can't do this with your own might. I'm here to assist you in areas you find challenging. But you need to stand up in faith. Your Bible is waiting. 
Begin to read it every day. Surround yourself with individuals who inspire your faith, who offer you uplifting words, and aid your growth. I'm not distant. I'm right there with you, next to your bed. You can kneel every morning or just close your eyes in your home or perhaps step outside to bask in the sunlight. Take a stroll, but no matter where you are, converse with me. Share your feelings, your thoughts, what drives your zest for life. Always carry a heart of gratitude, which experiences and which people make you feel fortunate. Document my teachings and place them where you can easily see them, in short passages that you can read and commit to memory. But don't just recite them emptily, ponder on them, letting your inner being grasp my love, my might, and learn to hold the faith that I cherish you, that I aim to enrich your life, that I've laid out a wonderful and flawless plan for you and your kin. The day has come for you to receive what you have been waiting for. You will not have to keep crying or enduring anguish. There will be no need in your home. In all areas of your life, there will be peace and abundance. I want to make a deal with you. I want you to come and listen to me every morning. Receive this word in your heart that will give stability and peace, so that your mind may be renewed. From this moment on, expect my visit in your home before this year ends. I will fill you and your family with harmony, love, affection, and happiness. I love you. I want you to tell me that you believe in me. The stronger your trials, the greater your victories will be. Everything you have suffered and all the pain you have gone through will not be in vain. That's why I send you these words, so that you do not lose heart. These situations you are going through are about to end. The blessing you have been waiting for is about to come to you. I have been watching over you this far. I have been protecting you, and you were never fighting alone. My promise will soon be manifested. All the words of encouragement and strength that I have spoken to you in your life will come to pass. My child, you can't give up now. You're so close to victory. The troubles sapping your energy will soon be gone. Scarcity will vanish. And I'll heal every one of your troubles. From that seemingly unbreakable barrier of challenges and disputes, what awaits you on the other side is a joy so profound it will make your heart soar. Not just you, but also the strained relationships around you will heal, and you'll rejoice in this gift surrounded by your loved ones. Your persistence in prayer is crucial. I encourage you to eliminate any distractions that don't serve you well. Cast aside any thoughts that cast doubt on my promises, that undermine your true value and your meaningful journey. They must go. Stay away from those who suggest that faith in me is pointless. Some may appear friendly, but their motives aren't pure. Stay alert, for my word is true. I am warning you so you won't be swayed by just anyone's advice. You are immensely precious, and I affirm this over and over. You haven't been abandoned by my love. In fact, my love for you deepens daily, and there are many more blessings I plan to give you. The hurdles you're facing now will soon be history. All hardship will disappear. Hold firm in your faith. Your family will be whole and loving again. I will restore everything you've lost, and it will be clear for all to see that my favor and blessings are upon you. I desire that all may witness this, so those who once belittled you for your faith realize that your Heavenly Father is real and loves you immensely. In your distress, I answer, in danger. I protect in need. I assist. I have granted you my everlasting support for you, your family, and all your generations. Fear not, my cherished one, I am with you. I am the ultimate remedy for alleviating all your pains, both physical and emotional. Your faith, honesty, willingness to follow, persistence, and determination in believing in me and my teachings, in being with me, these are what I value most. Listen carefully to what I say, trust in me, follow my lead, Stay patient and steadfast. Don't fret about what tomorrow may bring. Your job is to keep going, to obey, and to leave everything in my hands. For I am your Father and your God. 
and I give you each day not for you to spend it worrying. If you choose doubt over trust in me and give in to worry, you hurt my love for you, bringing sadness to your heart and potentially sickness to your body. I know there are times when you feel tired and uncertain, perhaps even a bit overwhelmed. But remember, I am always right there with you, assuring you that I'm not here to pass judgment. I'm here as your companion too. I'm setting up a feast of blessings for you, even amidst your adversaries. I will honor you in front of your family and all who know you. I will guide you to places you've never been, and through your life and words. Many will come to recognize me. You are stepping into a time filled with miracles and divine happenings. You'll see amazing things happening in the lives of those you love. Get ready for this new chapter. Accept the incoming blessings with moderation and humility. Protect your heart and always remember the source of your blessings. Spend time with me daily. Seek my presence. Ready your spirit and gear up for joy. I love you. Tell me truly that you believe in me. Come to me. Take my hand. Immerse yourself in my presence and saturate yourself with my word. Grant me this day what I ask of you. A humble heart. Eyes seeking my will. And feet walking in my paths. I shall show you that your blessing is not distant. Your soul shall rejoice as your liberation draws near. You shall grasp that your tears shed over certain matters are needless, for I am with you. My care for you and your kin is steadfast, and the warmth of my affection will soon envelop you. I desire to guide you along a path of calm, to ease the weighty burden of your worries, and to banish the harrowing shadow of fear that sometimes engulfs you. Fear shall no longer be your companion. Your mind will be free from the grip of distressing thoughts and your soul relieved from the torment of dark memories that undermine your zest for life. Witness the unfolding of miracles, my purpose, my promise will not return void. It reaches you today to herald change and transformation. Behold the dawn of a new day. Embrace the forthcoming wonders that you shall bear witness to. Clasp my hand, hold it firm as you traverse the valley of solitude. Declare to your adversaries that you are not forsaken. Your heavenly Father is at your side. I await you, harbor no doubt. Should you sense that now is the moment to embark afresh, you shall do so with me. Walk beside me and discover joy. You will be profoundly blessed, ever basking in my love. Proclaim it. Inscribe it. Shout it from the rooftops that you reciprocate my love. Amen. Today, I have something important to tell you. Please listen closely and don't turn away or stop listening. Don't ignore or overlook these words, as they're meant for your good. I love you very much and always aim to give you plenty of love, to provide you with comfort and protection so that even during tough times, you feel safe, guided, blessed, and valued because you hold a special place in my heart. I need to share this vital message to heal your inner self. I want you to know about the steps I plan to take. Nothing is too difficult for me. And in this amazing time while you've been getting to know me better, you've started to see, understand, and trust that my word is the truth, destined to come true, and it will never fail. However, there's an issue I need to point out. I'm not mentioning this to make you feel sad or give up, nor do I want you to lose hope or stop moving forward. I'm telling you this because if you listen to my advice and follow it, you will receive many blessings. Listen closely and accept what I'm about to say. If you want the doors and windows of heaven to open up for you and to connect with the divine and miraculous, to make this happen, you need to clear your heart of any complaints and negative thoughts. I'm happy with your faith, but don't let complaining poison your genuine belief. Avoid holding on to negative feelings or pessimistic thoughts as they can grow and eventually cause your strong faith to fade. Stop complaining. Stay away from friends who constantly stir up trouble, doubt, and complaints. Instead, choose wise companions. Decide now if you'll trust me or turn away from the good changes and blessings that are coming your way, especially if you leave behind complaints. Choose faith. Hold on to hope and avoid negative thoughts. Wonderful things are going to happen.
blessings, help, freedom, healing, peace in your family, joy in your soul, and a heart full of gladness. All these blessings will come to you if you decide to trust in me. I love you so much, my child. Hold on to me tightly. Give me your doubts and complaints. Stop trying to do everything on your own. Let me have the chance to bless you and show you the incredible love I have for you. Tell me you trust in me. I will remove the obstacles in your way. Break down the walls blocking your great future. My child, type yes if you agree with me. I'm cutting off the harsh ties that have hurt you and removing the heavy burden that's been dragging you down for too long. Contrary winds have blown against your sails, steering you into the eye of the hurricane, seeking to engulf you in the abyss of sorrow and despair that has afflicted you greatly. Today, I come to offer you liberation. I shall breathe with divine breath upon the storm of malevolence. The burdens laden with fear and anxiety are dissipating. The words I speak are alive, uh, possessing the power to initiate genuine miracles in your life. The changes you've been hoping for, the fresh start you've prayed about, are on their way. But I need to warn you, you can't afford to waste time anymore. You can't just listen now and then forget what I've told you later. Don't misuse the grace and mercy given to you. Fill your soul with good words. Feel the joy of heaven in your heart. Pay attention to the warnings you're hearing. This year is the time to put all the wise teachings you've learned into action. I'll remind you of this every morning when you get up. Even if you can't see me, look for me. You know where I am, as close as your faith, within reach of your prayers. I want to answer the deep desires of your heart. If you're ready to see extraordinary miracles this year, you know what to do. Give your heart to me. Live rightly. Hand over your life's control to me and follow my directions. I have been foretelling powerful changes that shall soon transpire, and the promise I made to you shall be fulfilled. You shall be free from debts, provided with strength and resources. However, it is incumbent upon you to rise from where you are and confront the task I place before you without complaint or faltering. Even in your efforts, there is blessing, your faith is the key to unlocking these doors. The huge obstacle blocking your way is gone now. Don't be afraid. Move ahead with confidence. I will always be with you, giving you strength and direction. To wrap up this encouraging message, I want to give you some important words that will make you happy. The future I have planned for you is amazing, and the blessings about to come your way are enormous. But first, let me tell you how much I love you. You've listened to me in your toughest times and on those nights when I comforted your heart. You woke up stronger the next day with a clearer vision of your wonderful purpose and destiny. I'm so proud of you. It fills me with joy to see how you've learned to avoid the traps set by your foes. It's wonderful to know that you are my child. My blessings are ready to be poured out on you at just the right moment and in line with my plans. While we look forward to this joy, there are still areas in your life where you need to grow and use the insight you've been given. Remember this, some things of value, when received suddenly without effort, are not blessings for your life. Before receiving what I'm about to give you, you must understand its purpose and what you must do to multiply your blessings. Just as those who sow in the field must await the time, the rain, the sun, and the seasons, you too must exercise patience which shall fortify your plans and intentions. Many blessings are forthcoming. Anticipate them in your heart, filled with peace, for they shall manifest at the appointed time. They shall not come without forewarning. Hence, prepare yourself for the victory you shall receive right from the start. I've told you how much I admire you. There's a secret that's been shared since time began, yet only a few try to understand it. Others don't want to listen because accepting it means they have to humble themselves before the Almighty, the Holy and Living God. What I want you to know is that I love you deeply, and I really want to bless you. Let's make a fresh start. Begin your day with me, kneel down, hear me out in the early hours, and let joy fill your heart. Stop complaining, nourish yourself with my wise teachings, read my words. 
Hold them dear in your heart. Love and respect yourself as I love you. Show your family and everyone else the same kindness I have shown you. Act now soon. You'll see the miracles you've been longing for. These words are for you, my precious child, who comes to talk with me every morning, who takes the time to close your eyes in faith, reaching out for my reply. My child, type 1111 in the comment box. Don't get disheartened or lose hope. Here you are, day after day, showing such sincere, beautiful, and, most importantly, strong faith. That's why I want to fill your heart with love, heal any old scars, and make sure you always feel certain of my love for you. Go to sleep with joy and wake up always with unwavering faith that each new day will be better than the last. Wherever you are, feel my embrace, my hands upon your head, blessing your thoughts and guiding your steps. I will shower you with beautiful blessings and incredible surprises. But I ask that you remain steady, steadfast, and do not tire of coming here with me every day. You do not have to speak. Just close your eyes and feel the affection flowing from my lips. Take these comforting words to heart. I wish for your happiness and peace. Let the tough times pass and welcome a new era of prosperity for you and your family. You might see yourself as insignificant, especially when you compare yourself to those flaunting their wealth. But remember, you have a more significant blessing. You know me and have given me your heart. You possess an understanding of the spiritual realm that many lack. We can communicate at any time, and you're always ready to listen. I'll open doors for you that remain shut to others and lead you on the best path. Don't be envious of what others have or be tempted by their wrong choices. Things might look appealing, but they lead to destruction in the end. Walk proudly. You don't need to prove anything to be valued in my eyes. Don't be afraid. You're familiar with my teachings. My house is always open to you. You're always welcome here. This is your home, where you're heard and valued. You won't find a love as true and profound as you find here with me, my cherished child. I love you deeply. I am the light that banishes all darkness from your life, your home, your family. It's essential that you seek me daily. That's my love, my desire. Embrace my words with humility. You're hearing them now. Let them sink into your being. Cherish them. Find your Bible and place it beside your bed. Wake up with a desire to hear me every morning. Read with faith, with eagerness to learn. These promises you hear today will strengthen you. I will make you feel so empowered that you will never again rise full of despair. If you do not understand what I say, then you must know me better. You can come early into my presence. I will make you feel how much I love you. You can go about your daily tasks feeling better. You do not have to bear anxiety or despair on your shoulders. You do not have to be a slave to your emotions. You do not have to rise daily full of fear. I want our relationship to grow stronger. I want you to trust in me in any situation. Stop worrying, choose to give all your thoughts to me, and I'll set you free. Look forward to the coming months with optimism. Trust in me. I am showering you with divine encouragement and confidence. I want the fear dominating your home, especially about money matters, to end. They won't bring you down anymore. Let your home be filled with loving words instead of arguments. Bring back understanding and forgiveness among your family members. I'm your guide, your truth, your life. I wish for you and your family to spend this entire year under my divine care. Your home is now free from any curses. My power has purified it. I've freed you from all sins and past ties. No evil force, witchcraft, or spell has any power over you now. Don't believe in false curses. You've opened your heart to me, so you and your whole family are safe and shielded. This is my promise. Don't listen to those who don't have faith in me. Dive into this flow of strength, love, freedom, and miraculous change. My holy light is shining on your home and family. Have faith and trust. Wonderful blessings are coming into your life. Tell me you believe in me. 
Remember those times when I delivered you from so many problems? All the miracles I have performed that have made clear to you the reality of my power? Write it down now. Do it with faith. Today, you will see everything I can do in your life. Your blessing is here in my hands. The definitive solution to all your problems is here with me. Come and take it. What are you waiting for? You know I love you. You've always sensed it deep inside. Even when you feel far away, or when doubts whisper that you've messed up, that I don't care for you, that's not true. There's still a spark in your heart, a strong wish to come back to this home that's waiting and missing you. Don't be scared, step forward. Even when confusion makes it hard to decide what to do next. You thought you had faith, but then things started falling apart, especially with people you trusted deeply. They went their own ways, leaving you feeling forgotten, making you think I wasn't there when you needed me. But deep down, you know I'm always right on time. I've never left you. I watched over you, providing all the answers and solutions you needed. But you hesitated to trust me. I reached out clearly, but you held back, finding it hard to believe that your all-powerful God wanted to talk to you. Don't turn away. This is where you are deeply loved. This is your home, your haven. Here, you can find comfort, peace, and a place where you can sleep soundly, allowing me to guide you into extraordinary experiences. Today, you're going to have a dream where you're standing by a river with crystal clear waters. Looking at me, I'll reach out to you, and you'll walk barefoot on the water which will wash away all your pain, anger, and frustration. When you wake up in the morning, you'll feel renewed. This is a reward for those who start to believe again, admit their mistakes, and find their faith once more. You don't need to go elsewhere to hear comforting words. I am here. My teachings bring life, hold them dear in your heart, and you'll be filled with my Holy Spirit. I am your vitality and your blessing, the real answer you've been longing for. Tell me you believe. Say it out loud. Think it. Write it down with all your conviction. What you've lost will be given back to you. I am the God who lifts you up and makes you whole again. I'll make sure that what was taken from you will be returned because you've looked for me sincerely and humbly. I've seen the pain in your heart, sometimes. You feel like there's no hope, but soon you'll realize how much I cherish you. Your future is and has always been in my care, and I have the power to change the challenges you faced. There were moments you felt alone, losing the will to live, but I am changing everything. I draw near to show you this love and desiring to bless you abundantly. What others plotted for your harm I shall alter and use to elevate you and cause you to thrive. You must be courageous, dreaming grand dream, daring to conceive of vast projects. You know that holding my hand, you can go far. If you truly believe with all your soul that I live within your heart, begin to think as I do, for with my power, there are no limits, obstacles, or enemies that can impede it. Cease contemplating defeat. Do not allow room in your mind for discouragement or failure. Perhaps you are permitting negative individuals to sway you, displacing you from your course, leaving you adrift like a ship battered by waves and buffeted by winds. I shall restore all that you have lost, but you must value my love and the plans I have for you. When I say something, believe it is true if it's in my teachings, honor and follow it. Don't ignore my advice, don't always look for the bad in what happens to you. Come and talk to me each morning, find time during your day to chat with me, and let's have a moment together before you go to bed at night. Kneel down and share your day with me. I will give you extraordinary strength. You'll see miracles happen, witnessing the changes in your life firsthand. You'll see that I'm a reliable God and Father. But remember, I seek your affection and faithfulness. Let your words always be kind and uplifting, I love you, and that will never change. Now say you love me back. 
my child. Don't ignore these words. Don't just move on. Dedicate a moment of your day to me wholeheartedly. Listen to the end. Don't let anything stop you from hearing. Be attentive. Let me write these words on your heart. After you hear this message, you'll feel much better, filled with great peace. So listen carefully. You'll find direction and insight in my words. Search for me with all your heart. Open your Bible every day. Read eagerly. Learn earnestly. In every page, you'll sense and hear my voice speaking to your soul. You have longed for an answer. You have prayed and suffered greatly in waiting. But like a potter, my hands are molding you. Though at times you may not feel or see it, I'm removing your fears and imperfections, altering your character and outlook on life. After much waiting and enduring nights of tears, when you receive my blessing and my response knocks at your door, you shall realize how you have been transformed. I know you have struggled with various situations, and it is time for you to have peace and happiness. That day is approaching, and now you shall be ready to welcome me into your home, as well as those you love. I shall touch their seemingly hardened hearts. I shall transform them. Look around you today and see the love you've spread starting to grow. Bright and hopeful days are coming where sadness will be forgotten, and the fight against feeling down will end. You won't be overwhelmed by deep sadness anymore, nor will your feelings be tossed around like leaves in the wind. I promised you a future filled with good things, and I'm making that happen. So dive into my teachings, refresh your belief, and build up your strength. Don't be afraid to plan and dream big because you deserve to start fresh even if things didn't work out before. Trust me completely this time. Your faith and dedication will lead to such great achievements that you'll be amazed. Come to me today. I'm waiting to shower you with love, listen to your needs, and unlock the doors of heaven, making your journey successful. I'm ready to reveal to you that incredible blessing. But listen to all I have to say without letting doubts cut in. You fought hard, and your efforts haven't been wasted. The reward for your faith and perseverance is close. I fully understand the challenges you faced, and I know your heart's intentions. You're not after material wealth, fame, or approval. Your fight is sincere, and all you want is enough to provide for your family. Get out of debt, and take care of your loved ones. I intend to bless you, for it is my will. I shall open the windows of heaven and pour upon you true blessings until you overflow with the provision you require. Finally, you shall be free from oppression. And if you believe in me, you shall do something. Rise resolutely. Continue working. Rest when necessary. But rise again the next day. Strive and be courageous with all the fervor your soul can muster. Advance without complaint without sorrow, with spirit and joy. Even if things do not unfold as you wish or if there are those who seek to trouble you, stick with the plan because even on tough days, you'll find the strength to be enthusiastic when dealing with difficult people. Greet them with a smile. Serve their needs patiently and wisely. Showing kindness but also letting your strong character and the wisdom you've received from me shine through. Stay away from harmful influences Keep your hands to yourself and avoid speaking ill of others. Your opponents will be frustrated when they see they can't interfere with your progress. Our journey isn't finished. Keep moving forward with faith, eagerness, and hard work until I say it's time. When the right time comes, you'll understand more as you stand in front of a huge door behind which great blessings await. Tell me you believe and promise to spend time in my presence every day. Starting this plan right now, my brave one, because you are full of courage. Stand firm in faith, and you will be victorious. I bless you today with peace, calm, strength, and insight. I've listened to your prayers and am delighted to know what's in your heart. You've come to hear from me, and you're in the right place. My cherished one, because here you are loved just as you are. I'm aware you're not flawless yet. I've seen genuine remorse in your heart. You're working hard to improve yourself, 
your character, attitudes, thoughts, perspective on life, and the way you interact with others. I've chosen you for a life filled with blessings. You face tough times, but you won't have to face as many from now on because my Holy Spirit and my teachings are giving you extraordinary heavenly wisdom. You're learning to make smart choices, no longer swayed by fake friends who actually take away your peace, faith are, and safety. That's going to stop. You'll stand strong in any trouble. You turn to me today out of need, and you'll leave empowered. My influence will be evident in your expression. The sparkle in your eyes will show happiness, and your thankful heart and joyful smile will unlock doors and break down barriers. I'm going to shower you with blessings. Get up and start moving forward, for you won't be alone. I'll introduce genuine, non-judgmental people into your life who will help your faith grow and bring more peace and unity at home. Avoid those who try to pull you away from your family, planting seeds of doubt and discord. It's true that some family members may still be skeptical and haven't committed to me yet, but I plan to work through you to demonstrate my love to them, bringing them a message of hope. I'm granting you strength and courage to dedicate yourself to your household. Always acknowledge your need for me. Seek my presence. Immerse yourself in my word and my Holy Spirit. Even in the face of discouragement in this challenging world, there shall always be hope for you and your family, with the secure promise of protection, love, guidance, and abundant blessings upon your household. Embrace my love and care. Now tell me, do you accept them with happiness and belief? My wonderful blessing, you have such a beautiful spirit. I admire how you carry yourself, your feelings when you talk to me, when you softly close your eyes, touch my heart deeply. I treasure your gentle soul when it pulsates with joy, filled with a heavenly delight that satisfies me and fills you up, driving away any unease, pain, or sickness. After listening to me, I want you to feel incredibly loved. You don't have to walk around sad, dwelling on your troubles. I love you, and today you will experience this love in many ways. I will show it vividly, and with my powerful words, I will declare it. If anyone tries to stir up trouble, you'll be wrapped in this divine love. If something saddens you, my embrace will protect you from all sorrow, lightening your heart and filling it with joy. Your family and friends will notice and wonder what's changed in you, why you're so joyful. Your foes will back off, overwhelmed because you didn't fear them or let them hurt you. A heavenly shield of protection will surround you, and legions of angels will camp around your home, guarding your family day and night. Believe this with all your heart. This love I hold for you is real, not a figment of your imagination. It is as true as the air you breathe, more potent and beautiful than any miracle you may request. It envelops you, giving you life. This is the greatest blessing you can receive. Thus. I adore your grateful demeanor every day upon awakening. You express gratitude for your life, entrusting me with your destiny and your days. Yet you know well that I'm real, watching over you, attentive to your needs. With this faith you possess, you shall rise, living, feeling, knowing that you are a child of the Creator of the universe. With immense certainty in every step you take, with a countenance aglow with abundant happiness. My dear child, it moves me. Your steadfast character, so thankful. You have such a beautiful heart. Tomorrow, come and meet me early before the dawn breaks. I'll be here, waiting to wrap you in my love once again. I cherish you deeply. I know how much you love your kids. They are precious to me too. Their names, faces, Hearts, thoughts, wishes, mistakes, challenges, and hopes are all recorded in my book. I understand what they mean to you. I want you to find peace, stop agonizing over their choices. Are you worried they're on the wrong path? Don't stress about things out of your control. Hand over your concerns to me. Focus on your own path, too much worry weakens you and takes away your peace. 
Save your strength and keep your faith because I want you to pray for them. It's time to let go of what needs to be freed. The doves have grown, and it's their time to fly. Let them go with trust as they spread their wings toward freedom. Remember that my protective embrace will always be with them. As long as you pray, trust in what I tell you, and believe in my plan, you burden yourself with unnecessary worries when you succumb to the urge to control, to decide for your children, to open or close their ways. Leave those concerns to me. There's a limit they won't cross. The respect for your family and your home must always be upheld. If they engage in wrongdoing, you cannot remain silent. I shall grant you the strength, peace, and wisdom when you must confront them. But never speak to them with anger. Guard your tongue. Spoken words and deeds can inflict deep wounds or affect healing. My child, type Amen if you agree with me. I have not been harsh with you. I have not punished you according to your errors. I have come to offer you love and salvation. Now, do likewise with those children you carry in your heart. Believe in this, errors will come, tears will be shed, but the salvation that came into your life will also reach your children when the time I've set comes. They will reach the point I've determined. Genuine change will happen, and they'll come back, bringing joy and more happy years to your home. You'll welcome them with open arms, ready to forgive and offer them another chance. Keep praying for your children, and you'll soon experience my peace. Feel confident knowing your children are under my care. A time of blessing for your family is near. Now is the moment for healing. Come before me with all conflicts and resentments. It's time to let go of past grievances and embrace a heartfelt reunion. If you're ready to receive this blessing, then let me work through you giving you plenty of wisdom to build up your character and introducing you more deeply to my teachings so you can lead your loved ones. Some in your family may not follow me yet, but they'll be encouraged to change their views when they see the transformations brought by my love and power in your life. Allow yourself to be used by me, fear not. You shall not be put to shame. If anyone mocks you and seeks to cause you trouble, deal with them patiently. Let them see you as an example. And may they never fear approaching you, feeling assured that you will offer them words of encouragement and pray for them with affection, without reproach or judgment. Even if you disagree with their way of life, their errors and vices, you're not meant to judge or punish. Your role is to love, just as I have loved you. You've made mistakes, yet I've never put you to shame. I've been patient, always ready to forgive and give you another chance because that's my nature. My loyalty is endless, my mercy unlimited. I always forgive you. However, remember that mistakes have consequences that can hurt. So be smarter now that you've learned. Recognize that you're alive and forgiven through my kindness and love, thanks to my patience. As I've never punished you as harshly as your errors might warrant, Come to me each morning, allow me the chance, uh, as I allow you, to instill patience in you and to provide the wisdom you need to reach a level where you gain the love and respect of your family. You will lead them on my sacred path, and soon they will all acknowledge me as their God and Lord. My beloved child, my promises are solid. What I say happens. The blessings you've been waiting for will soon be yours. I keep my word. I've listened to your prayers. I see you standing strong, full of faith, waiting for my answer. I notice how thankful you are, even when those around you are complaining. So I assure you, the blessing you've been hoping for is coming. I promise you'll have it soon. It will be given to you, and all your worries will disappear. Your stress and concerns will be gone for good. You put your faith in my promises, and ever since I heard your call and listened to your earnest request, I've been preparing the answer you've been yearning for. Many people get disheartened when they don't see immediate results from their prayers. They need to realize that I enjoy answering them. But first, certain changes need to happen in their lives. I must shape their character, give them wisdom, 
and arrange everything properly so that the blessing they've been waiting for doesn't turn into a burden. Often you ask just for what you need, but I give much more than that. I think about your future and your family. I want your blessing to bring peace and happiness, not sorrow or conflict. I've made a promise to you, writing my laws in your heart and mind, forgiving your mistakes and forgetting them. I want to remind you that being with me brings comfort. There's healing in my presence and endless strength for those who believe and wait patiently for my promises to come true. Let go of any bitterness. Remove doubts from your thoughts. Ignore those who make fun of your faith. If you start feeling tired or anxious again, just talk to me and I'll give you the ability to endure, blessing you with patience so that your feelings stay steady. You'll gain the wisdom to control your speech so you don't say anything thoughtless that might upset me. I shower you with abundant blessings, offering them with love and gentleness like a parent caring for their child. I look forward to your thanks and remind you to never ask for anything from me out of arrogance or entitlement. Many people disrespect me, but I remain patient and kind, waiting for them to turn back. They challenge me, risking serious consequences. It's a grave mistake to mistreat any of my beloved ones. I understand your frustration when things don't go as planned, but this is the process. You pray, I respond. You try, and yet you may face challenges. You might find adversaries and hurdles on your path, and sometimes it seems like my help is slow to arrive. But I will enlighten you spiritually to see that things aren't as bad as they appear. Your blessing is close at hand, just waiting for you to reach out to receive. Your blessing. You must let go of any fears or doubts that hold you back. You need to go through trials. I'm eager to see bravery in your heart and to watch how you handle delays or unmet expectations. What will your response be? Will you keep waiting with joy without complaining? Or will you let bitterness take over, wasting your time and effort? I seek your resilience, your complete devotion to me even when my answers take time. And you must be patient. I look forward to seeing the strong spirit I've placed in you, your steadfastness, which is more valuable than gold. I anticipate your faithfulness to me. You won't betray me or exchange your beliefs for trivial gains. You will avoid wrongful actions, not resorting to theft or deceit to escape your problems or speed up solutions. Such is the path to genuine triumphs in the spiritual realm. Your eagerly awaited blessing will indeed materialize. Remain patient and full of faith. Don't let skepticism halt your endurance. Ignore the misguided. Avoid taking counsel from non-believers or mockers. I kindly urge you to hold on to these words, treasuring them in your heart. I'm reliable, seeking your fidelity in return. Come back to this place every morning. Let these words bolster your faith and bring you tranquility. Do not fear. I cherish you. Your blessing is on its way. Speak these words with your voice. Write them with your hand. Beloved God, I await you with all my heart. I'm your Heavenly Father, your friend, your Lord, your Shepherd. And if you have never heard of me before, I introduce myself to you. I am the one who chose you before you were born, the one who ignited that firm purpose within your soul. I am the one who fills your life with love and showers you with boundless mercy. I am love. I am tenderness. I am peace, your path, your truth, the light that guides you amidst darkness. Today is a day filled with wonders. My words fill you with belief. You have my Holy Spirit as your guide and companion on your journey. Open up your heart. These promises are ingrained in your mind and will come back to you when you need them most. The doors to my kindness are wide open for you. I won't turn you away. Come boldly, without fear. I will heal your inner hurts and repair the lingering scars that secretly cause you pain. Won't control your thoughts anymore. Today, I forgive your missteps, and you will let them go. Guilt won't trap you any longer. Don't fret or lose your calm if you can't fix some old errors. Do what's within your power. Be humble, 
Ask for forgiveness. Make amends. Make your life story clean. But if others, out of spite, refuse to let you correct your mistakes, that's on them. You're cleansed and pardoned. Leave those issues behind. Give to me all your pain. All that spoils your mood. And the negative feelings that nag at you day after day. Let go of all those old memories and thoughts that you've clung to and allow my strength to work in your heart. I will permanently remove the chains of fear, break the hold of worry, and plant the seeds of my holy words in you. I will flood your soul with my goodness, giving you the gift of true freedom. I wrap you gently in my cloak of compassion, protecting you with my kindness and showering you with blessings. Today, the chains that have kept your spirit imprisoned will break. You'll see changes in yourself, your anger will fade away, and harsh words will no longer come from you. From now on, your words will be a source of praise only. Gentle and powerful words will flow from you, bringing freedom and healing. Remember, you're never by yourself, for I have been talking to you for a long time. And now you understand that despite the difficulties and obstacles you see, you need to keep faith, no matter what. Keep moving forward, and I will acknowledge your efforts. You trust in my promises completely, and I will guide you by the hand to your destined salvation. Today is a day to have faith and confidence that miracles are possible. Nothing is impossible for those who believe and surrender to my will. Every challenge, every obstacle, even temporary defeats and victories, are opportunities to experience the greatness of my love. You are in my hands, surrounded by an army of angels encamped around your home day and night, guarding every corner. My Holy Spirit will not allow any enemy to come and sow discord among you, for your family is precious to me. I love you. No one can snatch you from my hand. I care for you. I console you. I increase you. I nourish you with heavenly words. Indeed, you need material things and finances to bless others. But do not worry, for I shall provide for all your needs without sorrow, stress, or tension. You shall prosper abundantly. You cannot fathom all that I shall give you. But do as I say. Listen to this message again. Let this revelation gently enter your soul, word by word. I shall write my plans upon your mind and engrave my promises upon your heart. Focus. Do not stray in any direction. Occupy yourself with prayer. Attend to your family. Do your work diligently. Be honest and treat people with respect. I shall provide everything you need without sadness or tension, without worry or fear. I shall always be with you, loving you at every step you take. Trust in me and my power. In the dreams I have sown in your life and the gifts and talents I have bestowed upon you, treat your family and all those who support you with kindness and respect. I myself have arranged things for your success, not so that you may become selfish, but so that you may bless others. I will be your oasis in the desert. All those who seek to hear from me will come to you. Receive this divine affection with joy. Thus, you will be able to face any challenge that comes your way. Speak to me now with love. In those moments when you feel buried in troubles, I, you shall see the light. For all the burdens that weigh upon you, know that you are being planted. I am pruning the dry branches that obstruct new roots shall sprout. I have placed you in fertile soil to grow and flourish. Where you are, my love for you is immense and eternal. You possess an incredible strength within you, capable of achieving more than you have ever dreamed. You are filled with my Holy Spirit. You are loved beyond imagination. If you desire to soar and reach your dreams, you must let go of the things that weigh you down. Detach from that which hinders your progress. Do not cling to material possessions, human titles, or worthless trophies. No one in this world can control your life. Your happiness does not depend on material possessions. You indeed need resources and money to be a blessing to others. But don't worry. I will take care of all your needs without causing you grief or anxiety. You will prosper more than you can imagine. I will give you plenty. 
but listen to what I'm telling you. Certainly, here's a rewritten version with punctuation and some adjustments to maintain uniqueness. Absorb this message once more. Let these truths seep into your being, one word at a time. I will outline my plans in your thoughts and embed my promises in your heart. Stay focused, don't get distracted. Dedicate time to prayer, take care of your family. Work hard, be truthful and treat everyone kindly. I will supply all your needs without causing you sadness or worry, and without fear. You're going to thrive, and the abundance I'll provide is beyond your wildest dreams. Follow my instructions, hear this message again. Let these insights softly touch your spirit, phrase by phrase. I'll inscribe my designs in your mind and impress my commitments on your heart. Stay on course, don't veer off. Engage in prayer, look after your loved ones. Perform your job with commitment, be upright and show respect to others. I'll ensure you have all you require without any distress or apprehension. I will always be there for you, showing you love with every step you make. Have faith in me, in my might, in the aspirations I've planted in you, and in the skills and abilities I've given you. Show care and respect to your family and your supporters. I've orchestrated your circumstances for success, not for your gain, but so you can be generous to others. I'll be your refuge in times of need. Those seeking my voice will find their way to you. Welcome my love with happiness, with it. You can overcome any obstacle you face. Now, talk to me with all your heart today, my child. I am giving you a new life. From now on, everything will change. Begin this day with your head held high and your heart full of faith. You will see that everything transforms gradually around you. Never forget, I am with you in every minute of today, giving you the strength you need to overcome every challenge giving you the sensitivity to receive all the beauties and small blessings I am bestowing upon you. Do not stray from me, and do not be distracted by the world's activities. Be positive, even if everything around you seems to be collapsing. But breathe in my peace, give your heart a chance to rest, and remember that everything has a purpose, and I am your almighty God. I see everything that goes on, I'm there to help you through tough times and the minor things alike. Nothing is too small for me to notice. I offer you my love, and I ask you to show kindness, love, and patience toward others. I urge you to forgive them. How you treat them can lead many to find their way to me. Today, my dear child, I grant you fresh strength to begin again. I provide you with the insight to overcome all challenges. Embrace this day with happiness and cheer, for I am in control. I'm aware of every challenge you face and each emotion you feel. Just relax, keep faith, and aim to do your best. If you ever feel lonely, don't be scared, pray, and you'll realize I'm always by your side. My love for you and those you care about knows no bounds. With the assurances I give you today, have faith, be confident and chase after your dreams, for I will improve everything and make it smoother than you could envision. And as evening arrives, express gratitude for your day's journey. Your thankfulness matters. Cherish it, my child. I'm with you now, tomorrow, and forevermore. I fully grasp what you're enduring and the hardships you face. Your trials are unique, and at times, your feelings may be jumbled. But when you feel feeble, Hold tightly to me, that's how you stay afloat. Allow me to be by your side in these trying times. I want you to embrace my teachings. I will mend your spirit and erase your anguish for good. It's true that many might not get what you're going through, but I see everything you've been through and what you're dealing with right now. People only notice the surface. They can't see the tears in your heart. I get you, and I'm here to help. I aim to lift that heavy load off your shoulders and release you from your sorrows. I'm breaking the chains that tie you to your past. I'll unveil your eyes so you can see the bright and peaceful future I've planned for you. Those who look down on you and fail to understand will be left behind if they choose to abandon their faith and not follow me. My love for them remains, but they've veered off the path. 
If you wish to stay with me, you need to step away from them. Don't be scared of what's to come. You won't be on your own. I'll shield you from the scorching heat and protect you with my strength. An army of angels will go before you, making your way clear and guarding you against foes. Soon, your life will transform, and you'll be glad you chose correctly. You were receptive when I reached out to you, letting me in. We'll be together eternally. Your suffering will be history, and you'll find peace and joy in my love. I will shower you with my favor and blessings. You'll be immensely blessed. Things will change for the better. I love you. This hardship will pass. Hear my words and embrace the peace they bring. Your struggles are about to conclude. Now isn't the time to quit or make choices that might delay your progress. You're enduring a rigorous trial through my strength. You're being transformed, shaped like clay by a potter. My actions stem from my deep love for you and are meant for your benefit. I aim to prepare you for the higher place I plan to elevate you to. Stand firm in your character and strong in your resolve so you can lead, not follow. In the new phase I'm setting before you, you and your family will thrive. Don't fret anymore, my dear one, and make time to listen to me each day. Come and chat with me or just sit quietly by my side, relishing our time together. I don't wish for you to be troubled or let fear dampen your happiness. In calmness, you truly shine. Your words and deeds align with your faith in my presence. Your desperation vanishes. The anxiety that gnaws at you is gone for good. I noted down every feeling of yours, observing the fruits of your supplications. In your time of need, you called out, and I was there. The weight of your despair lifted. You felt renewed, ready to press on with your journey. On a day filled with gloom. You sought me again, overwhelmed by distress. Your tears nearly engulfed you. Your prayers were heavy with sadness. Your despair was so deep that you couldn't even express it. But I understood the storm inside you. I brought you healing, infusing your heart with joy once more. You kept on fighting, showing incredible bravery against daunting challenges. Now you're here in my presence again. Tell me your wishes, and they will be fulfilled. From within you flows a spring of sacred water. Your intentions are pure, and all that you need will be given to you. Move ahead with courage. Stand strong and determined. Make the ground shake beneath you. Those who envy you and lack bravery will run away. Your overwhelming feelings will calm under my powerful hand. I shower you with a downpour of blessings. Your difficulties and gloom will disappear. Should you seek upliftment, it's yours. If tiredness overtakes you today, approach me weary and laden. You are in need of this loving embrace that will provide you peace. Pause for a moment, embrace the quiet, and listen to the soft murmurs of the wind. Calm down, let your feelings settle, and the chaos in your mind slow. Place your hands in mine. Close your eyes. Be silent, and trust in me. Even when you feel surrounded and attacked by despair. Don't be afraid or waver. These fleeting emotions will pass. Once they hear my voice, despair itself shakes and vanishes, never to come back. As you embrace my words within you, a sacred healing oil is ignited, repairing every part of you, your body, heart, and soul. With each new day, you'll feel better, filled with fresh emotions and deep joy. Immense, splendid happiness flows from you like streams of living waters. No one and nothing in this world can give you the peace and joy you're looking for. Trust only in me. Don't hand over your heart or your life to those who claim they can make you happy. Avoid the mistakes you made before when you gave yourself away, hoping to find love and meaning. You stumbled, but that's not the end. You're entitled to stand up again. And I'm giving you the opportunity to start over. I love you. I'm devoted to you, and I can't withhold my love or everlasting life from you because you've given me your whole heart. I will give you everything you need. Don't be afraid, for I will provide for you. I will free you from debt, keep you away from bad habits, 
Clear your life of insincere friends and bring someone special into your life. Promise me you won't have doubts. Assure me you won't replace me with anything else. And tell me once again that you love me. Say, Jesus, I love you throughout your day and feel the immense joy that comes from me. I want to see you full of faith and happiness. There are blessings with your name on them waiting for tomorrow. Trust me completely because I arrange things for your good in both heaven and earth. I firmly ordered that you receive plenty, be freed from debt, gain heavenly wisdom, and enjoy blessings meant just for you and your family, a divine legacy. You weren't an accident. I loved you before you were even born, planning many wonderful things for you. The greatest of these is my everlasting love. I loved you when you were distant and kept loving you when you came back. If you think I get angry and pull away because you sometimes mess up, that's not true. Your mistakes don't scare me. I won't reject you because of your errors. When you come to me full of regret and honest about your feelings, I can see your love for me. I value your honesty. You don't judge others or pretend to be perfect. You have a peaceful soul, a gentle way about you, and pure thoughts. Even when you stumble, you get back up with belief and confidence. Don't let anyone criticize you. They have no right. Keep up your faith. Come to me every day, ready to hear and learn. I'll answer your dedication with abundant blessings. I understand that material things aren't your main concern. You want blessings and safety for your family. I promise to provide these and more. I'm getting you ready for new opportunities. Don't be afraid to embrace them. Right now, as you hear this, wonders are happening in the unseen world. New people and chances are coming into your life. They might seem challenging there, but with your faith and patience, they'll turn into blessings, peace for your household, and the resources you need. But most importantly, you'll feel my true love. Trust in me. I gently touch your life with my holy kindness and care. I hold you close, protecting you from harm with my divine protection. I understand deeply the trials you're enduring. Your challenges are formidable. I witness your struggles, comprehend your efforts, and sense your despair. In this moment, I reveal to you my unwavering loyalty. Your greatest achievement today lies in placing your trust in me, laying your afflictions and needs at my feet. I acknowledge that you cannot bear this burden alone. Thus, I stand by your side, eager to assist and support you with intention of goodwill, peace, and prosperity towards you always. You hold a special place in my heart, and I shall love you ceaselessly. I shall persist and continue to communicate with you, just as I'm doing now. You rose to greet a new day with your spirits low, your body weary, happiness eludes you, and it seems compassion is scarce. Yet do not forget, I am here. I have not been preoccupied with other matters, nor have I forgotten my love for you. Your eternal life concerns me, not temporal distractions. Your happiness is boundless, your salvation complete. So, after hearing what I've said, please don't forget my words. Your spirit will feel fresh, your strength will grow, and you'll be energized in a way you never thought possible. You might not have expected me to speak to you directly, but as you listen, you'll feel more determined to keep going. I want you to smile now and realize I haven't overlooked you. Use your peaceful moments to talk with me instead of feeling lonely. I'm your God, your parent, your buddy. Be thankful that I'm with you. Remember, you're not by yourself. I will shower you with my spirit, boost your inner strength, give you insight, and surround you with my affection. Your victory is on the horizon. Think about your brave spirit. Consider all the tough challenges you've overcome since you let me take the lead in your life. Calm your heart and continue to have faith, even when things get tough. When everything seems overwhelming and problems come your way, don't give in to fear. Protect yourself from fearful thoughts and keep going, relying on my word. I hold you very dear to my heart, even before you were born. I had grand designs for your life. I watch over every aspect, every moment of your existence. 
don't be overwhelmed by sadness. I'm here to fill your heart with happiness. Keep faith, for you are destined to succeed. And what I've planned for you is beyond what you can imagine. I love you, and will remind you of this every morning when you wake up. I'll lead you on the right paths, clearing away any darkness that surrounds you. Feel cherished and safe because that's what I want for you. Your faith brings me joy. Your belief is like worship to me. And in your worship, you will find peace and strength for your soul. I'll keep guiding you. Turn to me in tough times. And I'll be there to support you. Even when you feel frail or unsure. You've expressed your love for me. Seen me as a friend. And devoted your time to me. And in return, I've demonstrated my love for you. I never change. I am eternally reliable. My child, type Amen in the comment box. In your challenging moments, I won't leave you or pull away. Even when you're feeling vulnerable or uncertain, don't be disheartened by these trials. In hard times, don't be scared. For I, your powerful God, say that nothing is too difficult for me. Expect to see remarkable things happening in your life. Sense my presence. Listen to my words, and you'll find steadiness, joy, and fulfillment in your heart and life. Amen. This message, engraved with divine wisdom, reverberates through your soul, resonating with the deepest recesses of your being. Each punctuation mark acts as a beacon, illuminating the path of faith and resilience. As you absorb these words, they form a shield against doubt and fear, fortifying your spirit for the journey ahead. In moments of uncertainty, you'll recall these assurances, drawing strength from their unwavering promise. Through the trials and triumphs that lie ahead, you'll hold fast to the belief that you are not alone, that a guiding hand navigates the course of your life. So, with renewed determination and steadfast resolve, you embark on the path laid before you, knowing that the Divine Presence walks alongside you every step of the way. The challenges may be formidable, but your faith remains unshakable, a beacon of hope amidst the storms of life. My child, subscribe to the channel now. Share this video with your five contacts.